Okay, uh, welcome guys. So uh, this is the second lecture of the of the uh, category theory. So uh, in this lecture, uh, I talk about the morphism. Okay, okay. So let's see the definition. So uh, the morphism means that uh, right. So each two object there will be a more uh, arrow or there there will be a morphism from A to B. Okay, so let's. Talking about the definition, so sound definition are very important. The first two are monomorphism and the EP morphism. Okay, so uh, A to B F are called a uh, monomorphism. Means that uh, it's uh, if you have F G equals F H, then you can cancel from you get G equals to H. Okay, so you can view. Okay, so this is for each for every G H. So basically, means that. Uh, Right, suppose you have G and H from some other object, then uh, you always have this. Also called the uh, uh, left cancellative. Okay, so conversely, the EP morphism means that uh, you have a GF equals to HF, you always have G equals to H. So this is called the right cancellative. So basically, you cancel from right, uh, called the EP morphism, the monomorphism. You can view this as the so obviously the monomorphism should be viewed as the injective and the epimorphism are called a surjective. Okay, so a simple example is that, uh, it's a very simple example is that you use a set, right? You use a set as the category. So I would say the objects is a set and the morphism are just a function between set. Okay, so from this that the uh, epimorphism means the surjective and the uh, monomorphism means that uh, injective. So simple exercise for you guys to check. Uh, so I think this is now this tree check out trivial. So I I I, I skip. Yeah. Oh, by the way, so while I read trivial, I I I I don't cheat you guys. It's indeed trivial. <laughs> okay, and uh, by morphism, if. Uh, it's monomor monomorphism and the uh, EP morphism. So if if they are both a uh, mono EP, then call uh by no by morphism. Okay. Uh, okay. Then there's a thing also important called sub object. Sorry, sub object. Okay. So sub object basically is object. Uh, if you have a object M and a large M, and then you have a you have the EP morphism. Oh, sorry, if you have the monomorphism. So let's so let me introduce a notation. So one common notation is that uh, if we talk, uh, so we will use this to be the monomorphism, and we will use this to be uh, EP morphism. So if you have an object M monomorphism to M, so M is called a sub object. Sub object. Okay, let's just uh clean some. Okay, yeah. So, so uh, example is obviously right. So if you have a subset, so if you have any subset, you can put subset. If S is a subset of A, then you can uh, put S is a subset of A. Just writing this notation. So obviously, by definition, this is monomorphism because this is injective. So, so you can view that monomorphism is like a generalization of the subset or subgroup of the sub subspace. Okay, so yeah, so up to now we only talk about some definition, not not um, you know, and uh, let me just introduce some nota other notation. Okay, bye. So these are just a definition. So endomorphism means means that you have a a to f so basically you talk about any morphism from a to a then people call it the endomorphism so usually call it as it is so if you work in a group which is common and then there is a thing called automorphism okay it means that uh, you take a a and uh and uh, if this map is an isomorphism Uh oh okay so isomorphism I already define what isomorphism means right if you have a to a 
F, then the inverse is this. This is a co isomorphism. If you collect all isomorphism called all arc A. So in general, uh, this well forms a group. So the common example is that uh, you can talk, uh, given A is a group, you can compute the so automorphism group. But the uh, endomorphism and automorphism can be generalization into the general categories theory. Okay. Yeah, so these are also common. Let's talk about more. So these are def let's talk about definition. So so you so you I think that uh, I always I only talk about definition, but actually the category theory are not the uh, it's very it's, it's I should say it's not so deep as the uh, algebraic geometry and the topology because it's a somehow like a framework, right? So there are lots of definition, but we try to generalize everything in the other uh, math subject. Okay, so let's talk about the terminal object and the initial object and a zero object. Okay, so terminal object means that uh, everything in the category uh, is terminal. So it means that uh, the terminal object T means that uh, for any A belongs to category A in the object, there always there exists only map. So this this area are unique. Uh, you always exist a unique A to T. This is called a terminal. Okay, so obviously the initial, I call it I, means that uh, there exists unique morphism from I to any object A. Okay. And the zero means that uh, both terminal and, and the initial terminal and the initial. Okay, so let's uh, see some example. So in the sets, right, the set, so what, what kind of set has the unit, has the, has the initial out, set has the only uh, map to some, well, what is the terminal object? So the terminal object obviously is the, is the single set, right? So you have a set of one element, then the, always there is this a unique map. Basically, you just map all the element to such element. So T is the singular term. Right, so singular term is the terminal object in the set. Okay. And uh, what is the initial object? Right. So initial object is empty sets. Right. If you're talking about empty sets, there there's only one map to A by definition. Okay. So so in the set sets problem, there is no no uh, zero object. Right. How about groups? So uh, you can check by yourself. If you talk about groups, then the uh, spatial group is a trivial group, right? It's a trivial group. So obviously that the trivial group is the terminal object, right? Because all the group elements must map to the identity. Okay, but the also identity all can always map to identity, right? Because this map need to in the groups category must be homomorphism, right? It must be homomorphism. So it must map to identity. So the result is that uh, this in the group is a uh, zero object in groups. Okay, also, uh, okay, so uh, let's talk about let's talk about the ring, right? So, what is the initial object in the ring? So, initial object means that uh, you can always give a commutative ring that you can find some initial object map to the commutative ring. So let's so what so what is such an object, right? So I would say the which is a common is the integer ring, right? So if you take an integer that you always map zero to zero. And the one map must map to one, right? And what and the rest basically basically are fixed by the homomorphism. So n maps to n. So basically it's n times one in a commutative ring. What's the terminal object? So just simple example, right? So any ring can map to zero ring. Okay, so zero ring is a terminal object and the initial Z integer are initial object. Okay, so, okay. So zero. So all the terminal objects are isomorphic. Okay, so simple uh, trivial example and also uh, zero objects and the initial objects are all uh, isomorphic. 
Okay, so uh, this is a simple exercise, trivial. So you can write down by the definition, right? Because it's unique. Okay, okay so uh, up to now, uh, we already talked a lot of uh, morphism. So let's talk about, okay, so maybe we, we leave this. And the next video, we talk about functors. So in the next video, we will talk about functors and uh, natural transformation. We'll see you guys in the next videos.